Hey, what's up guys, Rex here and welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna do something a little different because um, this is my graphics card. It's a Titan X Pascal I got. Um, it's a 2016 graphics card and it has been an honor having it in my system. It was really nice and it always, it didn't really have any problems except for one thing which would be the um, term thermals. So this graphic card runs really, really hot. It's almost always at um, around 84 to 86 degrees when it's under load, so when I'm playing video games. So um, instead of buying a graphics card, because that's so hard in uh, the current day anyway, I decided to buy a uh, cooler from China. It arrived today, so um, this is actually the cooler. It's from an Asus 1080 Ti, I think. So it should technically fit. I don't, do not know yet if it really does. We will see. And it has RGB as well, which is pretty cool. So um, I will disassemble this card now. I'm like halfway through the process. We're already moving the screws. And then we'll see. So now we're taking apart the cooler. This, this is actually the uh, normal vapor chamber um, that the graphics card uses. So as you can see, it's fairly small compared to the new thing I'm, I'm getting. So uh, let's just remove this, and this is actually the graphics card chip, which uh, it's all about. And yeah, it's dirty. I'm going to clean it. Now we're actually taking the backplate off. The beautiful black backplate. And I think this is still sticking onto something. I think there's like a thermal pad or something down there. But look at the screws. Look how many screws there are. Look how tiny they are. Yeah. So after some tedious work removing all these screws from back, I'm finally, I've finally gotten rid of the um, original blower cooler ventilator and uh, yeah, plate. So that's what they look like. We got the insulation pads on here. And this is the complete bare bones card. It's completely naked at that point. So I can finally start uh, putting on the aftermarket cooler. So I've got some unpleasant news. When I try to put the cooler on, because there's no Titan X cooler, I just got the 1080 Ti version. So if I try putting it on, you can see it slides slightly to the side and it's not on the thing exactly where it has to be. It has to be on the chip, but it can't go there. Because, um, firstly, I've identified the problems. The first one being I have this, I think, DVI connector, or what is, whatever this is called, and it's blocking the way. So I'd probably get rid, rid of it. And second thing is, I've got this transistor here, and there's actually like a bump right here in this um, in this thing. So I need to remove that as well, probably. Yeah, I'll we'll see each other after the cut. So a few hours later, and um, yeah, I've got a soldering iron to actually remove. Um, yeah, that's my dog. Uh, to remove the DVI port actually because it's in a way as well. The other thing is I've actually just cut um, the iron right here which is off. I know it's not the fanciest method to do it but um, if it works it works and I didn't have the tools for something better. <sighs> Let's hope it works now uh, with the soldering iron removing this thing actually because there's some solder on the back side and I need to remove it first. I've already um, pulled the cables out though. Wish me luck. So quick update, I actually have to be really quiet right now because it's very late. And um, yeah, I've uh, removed the DVI port completely. I don't have a DVI port anymore because it was getting in the way. I actually cut this stuff so yeah, looks really ugly, but I just hope it works because I didn't have the right tools. And like I said, I removed the DVI port, and now I just gotta put on 
some uh, thermal paste. I got some from Cooler Master, I think. So, uh, let's see us then. So, after many, many steps, it's finally done. It's finally done. It's in here. And it works. It literally works. I don't know how I did it. We had to even change some cables out and everything. But it works. But look at the temperature. We are at 43 degrees under load. You can't see it now, but it's Minecraft with shaders and stuff. Under load. 44 degrees. I was always under load. Always. Always. Without with no exception. I was at 86. Like the limit or something. Like around 86. Wow. That is incredible. I am amazed. I am completely amazed. Wow.